I think you probably know that the Americans were recruiting French uh, military people in Paris at the time. And Lafayette got recruited. He got recruited by Silas Dean, who was in there in doing that work. That was his job. And um, he got it into his head that he wanted to come over here and fight the hated Brits. You know, w w that was the main reason. He also started to feel uh, stirrings for what was going on as far as on our side, um, republicanism with a small r, anti-monarchy. Uh, um, Needless to say, this did not go over big with his in-laws. <laughs> the Duke was furious when he found out, and so they shipped him off to England, where the Duke's brother happened to be the English ambassador, uh, the French ambassador to England. And um, Lafayette went over there and sort of petulantly hung around for a couple of weeks. He actually had an audience with King George and made intemperate remarks, we're told. Um, he came back uh, to, to France. And he decided this was it. He was going to come over here, and he was going to fight against the Brits and in the cause of American independence. Again, the family was not very happy. There was a lot of shenanigans going on, a lot of cloak and dagger stuff. But long story short, he managed to, uh, well, what he did was he bought his own ship. You know, he was one of the richest young men in France. He bought his ship. He had it refitted. He named it La Victoire, uh, the victory. And on April 20th, 1777, he sailed for America.